Thanks for coming with me to park the car, son. Now we just need to find your mom and your sister. Why is the beach always so crowded on the 4th of July anyway? Well, it's one of our major holidays here in America. In fact, it's my favorite holiday. It's the day we celebrate our freedom and the signing of the Declaration of Independence. We celebrate something being signed? I thought it was America's birthday. Well, it is, sort of. It was the day America decided to break free of English rule. Huh? When the Declaration of Independence was written, the colonies were still ruled by the King of England, and he wasn't very nice. So the colonists, led by our founding fathers, decided that they had had enough. What did the king do that was so bad? He set oppressive laws against the colonists, even though he was across the ocean in England. And he kept creating new taxes. Uh, See that ice cream cart over there? Imagine if you bought a $3 ice cream bar, but then the salesperson said you have to pay a $1 stick tax, another 50 cents for a wrapper tax, and a special $2 freezer tax just for keeping it cold. You'd end up paying more than double. For one ice cream? My allowance is only $5 a week. That's not fair. It might even make you want to throw all the ice cream in the water. Now you see how the colonists felt. So what did the the dedication of Indianapolis do? (laughs) The Declaration of Independence basically said the colonists were sick of the king's abusive rules and his high taxes, and America was going to be its own country. It was mostly written by Thomas Jefferson with the help of a few others, including John Adams and Benjamin Franklin. And they all signed it on July 4th, 1776. And then they lit off a bunch of fireworks? Well, no. Actually, when the Declaration was read in New York in July of 1776, cannons were fired in celebration. But after that, they probably decided fireworks were safer than cannonballs. I still don't see why we have parties and barbecues just because they signed a piece of paper. Oh, son, it was so much more than just a piece of paper. Actually, I think I can be of assistance. Who are you? My name's Cabana Charlie. I take care of this beach, and I love Independence Day. I've also been known to play a song or two. So you know why we have big parties on the 4th of July? Well, sure I do. It's because we're free. And let me tell you something. Freedom is worth celebrating. From across the sea, England's grip was strong. The king's abuse got harder every day. The colonists tried to air their grievances, but the king wouldn't give them their say. Our founding fathers dreamed of democracy, but the king just kept holding them down. If this country was to be the sweet land of liberty, they'd have to break away from the crown. The fight would be hard and the road would be long. From under England's thumb, we had to get out. So although they were scared of freedom, they declared And that's what Independence Day is all about Freedom should be celebrated And that's just what we do So come on down to Freedom Beach For our Independence Barbecue Come on down to Freedom Beach For our Independence Barbecue Well, the fighting had already started England told us we belonged to them So Jefferson penned the Declaration of Independence With the help of John Adams and Ben The colonists suffered many losses But there was no other way When the Redcoats came to town Our soldiers stood their ground That's why we have our freedom today At the end of the war no more, we would never be subjects again. The colonies elected a president, our constitutional republic began. Freedom should be celebrated, and that's just what we do. So come on down to Freedom Beach for our independence barbecue. Come on down to Freedom Beach for our independence barbecue. 
It's nearly 250 years later And America still shines today We still have a lot of work to do But we've sure come a mighty long way This is the land of opportunity Some folks don't understand what that means Our streets may not be gold But you can still pave your road You can work for your American dreams We can never take our freedoms for granted Or be fooled into giving them away America stands for liberty And that's why we celebrate this day Freedom should be celebrated And that's just what we do So come on down to Freedom Beach For our Independence Barbecue Freedom should be celebrated And that's just what we do So come on down to Freedom Beach For our Independence Barbecue We've got freedom for me and you Wow, you're right. Our freedom is worth celebrating. And we can never forget that. There are many people all over the globe who still don't have the same freedoms we do. We have to be grateful to our forefathers for declaring our independence and fighting to make sure it was secure. You got that right. Now come on down to the beach. The water's nice and the barbecue is about to begin. Happy Independence Day, America!